Are you a Facebook, Twitter, and RSS fanatic? If so, I've got something for you. This week on Geek with Glasses, we're going to be taking a look at Rockmelt, a new social browser that's been hitting the internet the last week. Both available for Mac and PC, Rockmelt takes all of your favorite social media aspects and combines them in a single window. I know a lot of you out there are probably one of the first things you do when you load up your computer and uh, launch a web browser is log into your Facebook so you can check statuses, look at pictures, and chat with your friends, as well as open up uh, either a Twitter page or a Twitter client like TweetDeck or Tweety. And then you probably open up 10 or 12 brow uh, browsing tabs so that you can take a look at all your favorite websites. I know for me, these sites are all tech-related like Engadget, Gizmodo, um, Ars Technica, and uh, such of the like. And with the Rockmelt browser, making all of these functions easily accessible is very simple. So let's take a look at some of the quick features that Rockmelt brings. Uh, Rockmelt is built on the Google Chrome background, and as you can see, it looks just like Chrome in the main window. However, on the left hand the right hand side, you see these edge bars that uh, Rockmelt has dubbed. They're called Edge Bar. And the edge bar on the left hand side is essentially your integrated Facebook information. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And on the right is your Twitter feed and your RSS feeds for some of your favorite web pages. And as you can see, um, I've got uh, Engadget, Gizmodo, Macworld, and the Gadgeteer set up so that we can take a look at. So uh, let's take a quick look. Let's look at the Facebook features. So first of all, up in the upper left-hand corner, you'll associate this with your Facebook page, and this is where you'll do your Facebook wall updates. You can update your status, or you can also uh, use any of the Twitter accounts that you may have set up, and you can post Twitter pages, or I'm sorry, tweets, as well as uh, status updates from the left. And you will also see these are all of your friends on your Facebook account. So you'll see, uh, I've got got it listed alphabetically and of course it's showing me people that are online at the top of the list and then goes down the list in an alphabetical order. And this is a really nice function so if I wanted to look at uh, Leslie's page, my fiance, it very simply opens up and shows me her wall right off the bat and I can click get more activity and this will actually load up her entire wall so that I can look at it as well as open up a chat panel. So in this chat panel, I can actually type in, you know, uh, text messages or whatever, and this is integrating the Facebook chat component directly into this web browser. And you'll notice uh, we've got an X button to close this out. We can open that back up, and it's associated to the browser right now. So if I minimize the browser, it's going to go away. However, if I bring the browser back up, um, and I want a standalone window, I can just simply click and drag this off and put it anywhere on my window and it'll remain so I can keep a persistent chat with whomever I want and I can pull the stream away if I just want to dedicate myself to talking uh, to chat with them. Also have the ability to uh, to write on their wall directly and insert, insert a link of the current page that I'm browsing or write them a personal message via Facebook email if you will. Um, so that's a really cool feature. One of the other really nice features is let's go out there and let's take a look at uh, Lala Cook's uh, website. And let's say I wanted to share uh, a new article or a new posting with a friend. I can very simply just grab a link, drag it into their window, and let go. And it'll ask me if I want to post it on the wall, put it into chat, or send them a personal message. So for, for demonstration purposes, let's just put it in a chat. You'll notice that it puts a link down here. I can hit enter and I can say here you go and that link is now available for that individual to take a look at and comment back or you can post it on the wall. Um, so that's how the Facebook integrates directly. It makes it very easy to keep in touch and to share links and information to whomever it is that you want. Another way that you can do it is let's say we're looking at the holiday giveaway posting on Lala Cooks and I want to actually publish this information out uh, to the world. I can click the share button and it'll automatically allow me to pick do I want to tweet this or do I want to post it on my Facebook and I can select whatever thumbnail that I wish and put in my message and click go. So it makes it very quick and very easy to um, actually share some information with your friends and your family or uh, any of your followers. So then let's take a look at what we get on the right hand side. So this is my Facebook news feed. This is just like if I were to go to Facebook and I were to scroll down the list I can look at my wall if I logged into Facebook. This is what you're going to see directly on Facebook.com when you first load in. So as you can see, you can like comments, uh, like messages, you can comment on messages, um, you can forward messages, or if you want, you can just click on that individual's profile and it'll take you to their chat persistence and you can say hello. 
So that's the newsfeed section. The next one down you'll see is uh, your profile. So as people like posts or comment on photos or anything, you can see that so that you can very quickly and easily click on that and see what it was that Larry commented on. And I had dessert at Krispy Kreme last night and had a little bit of treats, and Larry liked that comment, and I can see that really easily. So um, it makes getting to your Facebook information quite quick and uh, makes it very easy to do. Then you've got Twitter embedded directly into the browser as well. I've got my uh, Geek with Glasses account here. I can click this. It said 99 updates. 99 is the max that it'll display. And this is my Twitter feed. So I'm looking at all of my followers on Twitter. I can look at their account, uh, their posts. I can click the links and it'll take me. As you can see, Kevin Rose's new dog came, uh, came and has arrived. So I can click that link and it'll take me over to the photo and, and let me see his adorable <laughs> new Labradoodle. Um, and I can get quick and easy access to all of my uh, Twitter information. And I can add additional Twitter accounts by just clicking here. Or I can search Twitter, retweet, share, and uh, reply directly on to Twitters from within the browser. The other cool feature is uh, the RSS. And, and setting up an RSS feed to keep up to date with the most current information that you want is very simple. As you can see, there's 21 new articles on Engadget that I haven't read. So I can click this and it opens up a little RSS window. And I can very easily just click the article and it'll take me there. Click Click over here and the tab goes away and I can read that article. Um, and the same with Macworld and I've got Lala Cooks and Geek with Glasses on here and it's very simple. So let's say you're at a website that you read a lot and for this conversation we'll use Ars Technica, another site that I get a lot of tech information from. And so here's an Ars Technica uh, web page and here are the articles. If I wanted to set this up I can very simply just click the tab button here and oh, recent sites. There we go. Oh. Where is ours technically? Here we go. And I can just click the add button here and it adds it to my feed. There we go. So here is the feed for Ars Technica. So I don't have to always go to ArsTechnica.com. I don't have to go to Engadget.com. I can just get the, the, the feed information right here in a nice easy window to navigate. And then when I see an article that I'm interested in, I can just click the article and it takes me. It opens up a tab and takes me directly to that article. So that is some of the quick and easy features of Rockmelt. Um, I want to also go out there and uh, thank my friend Brody from Geeklish.com for sharing the invite with me so I could get my hands on Rockmelt and do this review for you. If you want to go check her out, you can find her on geeklish.com or brodybeta.com. And Brody's out there doing, she's kind of new to the vlogging. She's not new in any way, shape, or form to tech blogging. But with video blogging, she just started the show Geeklish where she's talking about mobile technology and all things mobile gadgetry. So go check her out at geeklish.com. You can also follow her on Twitter, and that's twitter.com slash geeklish and she's got a facebook page all the usual suspects for social networking so go check out brody and uh show her some support thanks again for watching this episode of geek with glasses live uh as always follow me up on twitter and that's twitter.com slash geek with glasses and you can also find me on facebook and that's facebook.com slash geek with glasses once again uh thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode all righty bye-bye